as of the release of Synology Drive Client 3.2, On Demand Sync is now available for macOS, and in this video, I'll go over setting up and making use of Synology Drive On Demand Sync on a macOS device. Before getting to the client setup, you want to configure Synology Drive Server on your Synology NAS, which I covered in these videos listed here on screen, which I'll link to in the description below. The difference between the two videos is that this video uses Quick Connect as the way to remotely connect to Synology Drive Server, whereas this video uses DDNS and port forwarding. For the setup in this video, I'll be using DDNS and port forwarding as the way I'll be connecting my macOS Synology Drive client to the Synology Drive Server. You'll also want to install or upgrade your Synology Drive client to version 3.2 or higher, which you can get from Synology's Download Center, which I'll also link to in the description below. In my case, I already installed the latest version of Synology Drive Client, and I have it running and ready to set up On Demand Sync on my MacBook. I'll click Start Now, then from this Connect to your Synology NAS window, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname that I use for this setup, along with a username and password for the account I'd like to use, then click Next. If the connection test is fine and the username and password checkout, I'll come up to this Choose the Type of Task window where Sync Tasks should be selected, then I'll click Next once again. From this Set up your Sync Folders window, I'll change the folder to Sync from my NAS to a team folder I specifically created for this video, then click OK. Now I'll check the box to enable On Demand Sync to save disk space on your computer, then enter in a task name, then click Done. I'll click Next through these informational windows, then click Open Folder to bring up the location that was set up for the On Demand Sync task. Note that the folder that was set up for this On Demand Sync task is accessible through the Finder under the Location section. At this point, On Demand Sync is set up and I can start interacting with the files. Here you can see that I've already uploaded a few files and all have the cloud status icon indicating that the files are all stored on my NAS and only available while I'm online. I can right click on a file and select Download Now to make the file available while I'm offline, which removes any status icon. If I don't need the file to be available while offline anymore, I can right click on the file and click Remove Download to free up space, and now the status icon changes back to the cloud icon. If I'd like to have a file permanently available while offline, I can right click on the file and select Pin Local Copy Permanently, which changes the status icon to a green checkbox. If later I don't need to have the file permanently pinned, I can again right click on the file and select Unpin Local Copy to remove the permanently pinned file. I can then right click on the file once again and select Remove Download to free up space if I don't need to have the file locally anymore. It's great to finally have On Demand Sync available for macOS and let me know how things work out for you in the comments below. Also, check out this playlist for some of my other tutorials covering Synology Drive. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.